Hey guys, here's a quick roundup of my first game of Colonial Twilight. I was um, playing with the uh, or versus the uh, FLN as the AI, and uh, let's look at the final score here. So, um, government ended on uh, 27, uh, which was eight short of the 35 point victory threshold, and the FLN ended on 17 which was 13 short of the 30 point threshold so uh, 13 by 8 or from 8 we've got a difference of 5 um, and uh, so that was at 5 or less a negotiated future Algeria does win in a form of independence from France but neither the stability nor good governance of the new country is guaranteed so um, all in all, it's a bit of a draw, really, I suppose. This is the state of the uh, map at the end of the game. And uh, I'm absolutely certain I didn't play the AI 100% correctly. I'm sure I made quite a few mistakes. I mean, I love these coin games and how they um, operate. But I must say, I'm not good at... Uh, following and remembering the AI procedures. I've got to keep referring back to the um, uh, flowcharts and um, the um, all the charts themselves constantly. I just don't recall or remember retain that information so that I can do it seamlessly. I need to play more of this game to make it uh, more second nature. So the good things about Colonial Twilight though is that it plays much much quicker than the other AI games. Uh, or the other coin games in such that the AI is every second turn and then it's back to you. So um, from that perspective I really really like it and without doubt it'll be my most highly played coin game because of that very reason you're just not having to manipulate two or three other uh, AI opponents. So thoroughly enjoyed it. A little bit frustrated that I'm um, just not grasping as quick as I would like um, the flow of the AI uh, and that's probably an age thing as well I'll have to admit it um, but all in all what a great effort this game is fantastic really like Colonial Twilight gets two big thumbs up from me okay thanks very much